What's up guys and welcome once again to another video. This is a very special video. I've been waiting a while to make this video for, for several reasons. Well, first of all, because the item that was gonna be used to make this video had not arrived yet and the time has come. It has arrived. Gotta disinfect. Gotta disinfect everything before we get it. So, these are it. They have arrived. They are here. And we're gonna go ahead and check them out. We're basically gonna do a photo shoot of my new shoes. I'm gonna show you guys some behind the scenes. I'm gonna set up some different cameras uh, behind the scenes so you guys can see how I set things up. Also gonna take some shots of the shoes in a type of like different uh, environments. See how well they come out. And uh, well, hopefully you guys can learn something and we can have fun doing it together. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at the shoes. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The shoes are amazing. Um, these are the most expensive shoes that I have ever bought in my entire life. I mean, they were like $90, but for me, those are real expensive shoes. And um, we're just gonna have a little photo shoot, have some fun, but first, Look at this mess. I have to clean all this area up. So we're gonna put it in little time-lapse mode. Here we go. Okay, so I've never taken photos of shoes before, so I really don't know how to go about it. Now, I have seen a couple of videos by uh, Tyler Babin, which I will link uh, up here, and also by a creator called uh, Evan Raft. I hope I'm, I don't know if I said that right, but you guys probably know who I'm talking about. This is like a Georgia Atlanta based photographer and he does a lot of shoe photography so uh, I will link both of those two videos right up here so you can kind of like see where my inspiration came from but I did find this huge checkered thing but the cloth itself looks pretty nice so we're gonna use that uh, we have a little bit of a we have a little bit of a black black cardboard to just kind of make it stand out and so a lot of my stuff from my computer and stuff doesn't show and somebody sent me a message so we're going to go ahead and open this up go ahead and open this this up and check it out You know how to play checkers. It's a little cloth because it's got a lot of the same colors that the shoes have. So, but it's not so close that it's gonna get lost in here. It's actually gonna be really, really good. I think, I'm not really sure, but. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this on here. 
Oh, there's a tic-tac-toe on the back. Now we're gonna do the front one first. So we have our little setup going on right there. It's looking good so far, it's looking good. Uh, like I said, we're gonna wait a little bit for the Osmo Pocket. So whenever the Osmo Pocket's ready, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this photo shoot. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's wait a little bit, come back, pace. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's go ahead and begin this little project. My Osmo Pocket is fully charged and is already set up, taking a little time lapse in the background so you guys can kind of see me work uh, on this photo shoot and kind of see the stuff that I kind of do to get some of the shots that we're gonna get today. Now, I am gonna be probably doing this in two or three different types of lenses. I'm definitely thinking about using my 50 or my 85, I'm not, I'm not sure which one is gonna work better because uh, basically this room is pretty, pretty small. So I'm probably gonna use the 50 and I'm also gonna use the one that I'm filming on right now, which is my Sigma 17 to 55. Uh, this is an F2.8. My uh, 50 uh, millimeter, it's a 1.8. So we're gonna go ahead and try to check those out. This table uh, also, uh, also, this table, uh, we're probably going to be lowering it a little bit to, to try to get some different angles. So we're going to go ahead and try to do that. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and begin. <laughs> Alright guys, so let me make sure I'm in focus. Okay, so we pretty much finished with the actual shooting of the shoe. I was only able to use the 50 mil when I tried on the 85 mil. I did notice that uh, I didn't have enough room in my in my little small studio. So I went ahead and I used the 50. Still, I still think the pictures came out pretty good. I have not seen them, uh, but they look good on camera. So we're just gonna do a couple of more shots, the very last ones, which is gonna be me actually wearing the shoes and uh, maybe me sit like sitting down or you know, some sort of me wearing the shoes. A couple of more shots like that and then we're gonna be finished and then we're gonna go ahead and throw them into Lightroom and check them out and then we'll see what the final outcome is. So just let me go ahead and uh, put these babies on and then we'll go ahead and try them out. All right, guys, so um, the shots of me wearing the shoes, I didn't really like them that much, so I'm gonna try something else. It's gonna be kind of hard to pull off, but I'm gonna try to get like a sneaker floating in the air, rotating. So what I'm gonna do is kinda hang it with some uh, fish line, if I think I have fish line. Well, anyways, I'm gonna try this and then I'm gonna swing it and I'm gonna be recording it on the Osmo Pocket at in slow motion and see what I can see what I can do. I'm gonna do it in 1080p, 120 frames a second, but I'm also gonna go ahead and do it at 4K, 60 frames a second and just see which one comes out better. The one that comes out better is the one that I'm probably gonna end up using in the shot. So with that said, let's go ahead and try it. So we finished, 
I believe that was pretty decent shot or at least enough to try to make something out of it. So we're gonna go ahead and check both of them out, the 460, I mean the 460, that uh, 40, 4K, 60 frames a second, and the 1080p, 120 frames a second. And uh, check those out. So let's go ahead and jump onto the computer and look at some of these uh, photos. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you like it and you learn something from this. I uh, really learned a lot. This was my actual first time doing any sort of shoe photography. Um, I am starting to get into more product photography, shoes, and uh, you know, I really had fun making this video and uh, I really learned a lot about shoe photography and how hard it is. So with that said guys, thank you again so much for watching. Please um, hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload new videos. And, and until next time, I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.